How y'all doing? And thanks for watching. This is George coming to you live from the great outdoors, the beautiful non-rainy outdoors, the hot and humid, muggy Chicago outdoors. I haven't done an outdoor video like this in a while, and I want to take this opportunity to remind you that we are the number one source for your construction and emergency safety LEDs and strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, trucks, bicycles, tricycles, everything in between. Kind of like what you're looking at right here on this nice, clean 2019 Super Duty Lariat. Yeah, that's right, that's a Lariat. It does have the blackout package. What you can see flashing in the grill there, high and bright, is our Razor LED. That's a programmable LED. You can do that in amber, you can do that in white, you can even do it in amber white, just like we've shown. And if you wanted to put another switch on, you could flood those white as well for a steady white display. That's a very useful LED in the front of that grill. Comes with two different mounting options. Again, that's our Razor LED, available at wickedwarnings.com. It'll also be linked in the description of this particular build. This was a fairly simple truck. It's a little hard to make out right now in the direct sun, but we did also flash the amber mirror stripes with our auto flasher module. And I wanted to do this outside video because I haven't done an outside video in a long time. You can see here we're at our new location. That's my wide open door over there. That's my shop truck sitting out front just looking pretty. And this is the build that we just finished right now. Like I say, around the front, kept it a little bit easy. This is a snowplow truck, so we didn't need a whole lot up front. We got the two razors synchronized with an alter, alternate color flashing display, amber and white. We've got our auto flasher on the mirrors. Alrighty, I think that there you can kind of see the mirror on the right side a little bit better. Now that auto flasher kit on the mirrors is going to come with everything you need to do the install. And in this particular bundle, we're going to also include the razor lights as well as our mini six controller because this particular lariat it didn't get the auxiliary switches i know right what a burn what a raw deal what a disappointment jesus ford all right anyways so we're going to put in our mini six switch right there on the left of the dash i'll show you that and as far as the mini six wiring we're just going to supply 25 feet of your 14 2 we're going to supply a fuse holder we're gonna supply the Mini 6. That's battery fed right off the battery there. For those razor lights, we're just gonna give you 25 feet of 22-5. That's a very nice 22-5 jacketed wire. It's gonna extend every light on that razor and you'll be able to bring it into the dashboard and do whatever you need. Pattern change, flood, synchronization. The 22-5 wire covers all aspect. So that's what you're gonna get on the front of this truck. You're gonna get two razors and some 22 5, 25 feet, and you're gonna get an amber auto flasher set, uh, auto flasher kit for the amber mirror lights. That's gonna conclude the front half of the truck. Let me show you what we did out back. Alrighty, so around the back, you can see here, got a nice amber flash in a good X pattern. That's a bold, colorful amber synchronized. That is our Echo Haw. And uh, this particular truck was a little bit unique. And uh, first thing I want to show you is that I'm no BSer. There's the sun. We're in direct sunlight today and it's mighty bright. So here's the truck itself. Let me show you a little close up on the tail light so I can tell you exactly why this one was a little bit unique. Alrighty, can you guess yet? There it is, blind spot radar. Normally blind spot radar makes it pretty difficult to put the LED hideaway in. We figured out a way. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to link a video specifically about that at the end of this, just so in case you wanted a little bit clearer direction on how we installed those amber LED hideaways in a halogen blind spot tail on a 17 to 19 Super Duty. Particularly difficult installation, and we'll show you all about it. Now the other lights up top there, that's another hideaway light of ours. That's an Echo Hall low dome in the top. We went with an Echo Hall high dome in the tail, but a low dome would work just as well. And you could also swap these out for our Haw Duo if you wanted. A little bit more robust, a little bit brighter light, you could swap to the Haw Duo. Now, I have a video all about how to install the hideaway in here. I'm gonna link to that video as well. So that way, if you have some questions about how we got that amber hideaway up in there, we'll answer them all in a video. And yes, you do need to remove those white LEDs in order to drill the hole for the hideaway. So we remove those white LEDs. They do not function anymore. They are gone. History, yesterday's news in the trash. So that way you can put the holes in there for the amber. This particular customer, when he opens his weather guard box, it blocks the light anyways. So it's 100% useless. So we just got rid of them and uh, 
he's perfectly happy with the lights that are actually down in the bed, which are going to remain. Alrighty, back in the cab of the truck, here's what we did. We've got our Mini 6 switch panel. We set this one up for the customer just like he wanted it. He's got three upgrades coming later on the right-hand side. He's going to have a fuel tank on the AUX-1. He's got plow up, which is just to turn on his plow. Uh, they didn't have a plow on, so I just used plow up. Uh, just like suit up. We're going to plow up, right? Get that plow going. And above it, we've got flash. Keeping it fairly simple, we mounted this right there we use some nice long screws to grab both layers of plastic we drill a hole right there that's a fairly easy piece of plastic to replace if you ever really wanted and those wires do come out right behind here you go ahead and remove this panel you can get at those wires really easily also remove this panel if you like and you can get at those wires right in there so that's how we did this one as i said sorry charlie no switches in this one and the budget didn't pertain to adding those so we went ahead with the six mini six switch because it's a lot more friendly to the budget thanks again for watching wicked warnings we'll go ahead and put the links to everything you need on the back of this video in the rear it's simply two sets of our hideaways we're going to give you 50 feet of 18.5 that's going to be 25 feet for each set of hideaways that's going to extend the hideaways up to the switch here so you've got your hideaways you've got your wiring for your hideaways you've got your razors in the grill you've got your wiring for that you've also got your mirror kit and your wiring for that as well as your mini six and your wiring for that everything will be bundled up and ready to go feel free to make some modifications add or subtract items as you see fit drop a comment tell me if i'm a moron it's all good i don't mind so uh subscribe hit the like tell me a joke do something Give me a little feedback, people. I'm over here all by myself all the time. Anyways, thanks for watching Wicked Warnings. We're your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, trucks, bicycles, tricycles, everything in between. Make sure to check us out on the web at www.wickedwarnings.com. Make sure to share our media, please. Post it, share it, tell your friends. Put it on the subway wall, whatever works for you. Post it in the Port of John on your job site. Anything good. Make sure you tell them about Wicked Warnings. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.